Hello, welcome to C-Sharp Interview Question and Answer Video Series. In this video, I will be talking about the delegates. In my previous video, I have talked about the generics and difference between hash table and dictionary. If you have not watched that video, I will highly encourage you to do that. Talking about the delegate, delegate is a type C function pointer, that is, delegate holds pointer to a function. Make a note that signature of delegate must match that of a function, otherwise you will be getting compiled term error. There are two types of delegates, single delegate and multicast delegate. As its name suggests, if I subscribe single function to the delegate, it will be termed as single delegate. If I subscribe multiple functions to the delegate, that will be termed as multicast delegate. Make a note that, if delegate is multicast and return type is other than void, in that case only the value of last invoked method will be preserved. Delegate name dot get invocation list, this function gives you list of delegate array and this delegate array can be iterated and methods can be called independently. Next question in the queue is, where do you use multicast delegate? This is one of the frequently asked interview question to experienced candidates. So answer is, we use multicast delegate in case of observer design pattern that is also termed as publisher subscriber design pattern. If you are not aware about the term publisher and subscriber design pattern or the observer design pattern, don't worry. We are going to discuss this in upcoming videos. .NET Framework also provides you inbuilt delegate, action, predicate, and func. These are three inbuilt delegates provided by the .NET Framework. Here, you need to understand difference between all these three delegates separately. Action type delegate, it holds reference to a function which is of type void. That means a function does not return any value. In case of predicate, it holds the reference to a function which returns boolean value that is true or false. Talking about func, func is a delegate whose implementation is slight different. In this case, you have to specify input and output parameter. So a function can have 0, 1 or more parameters as input and can have any return type. Flipping to Visual Studio. So in our console application, let me declare one delegate. Public delegate void say my delegate and let me create parameterized delegate and inside the main function I'll just declare one variable of type delegate that is my delegate my del equal to say display as this function does not exist it is giving compile time error you can click on this function and click on this icon to create the method skeleton you can see so let me provide body to this this is display function and I'll just concat name so let me invoke this function my del dot invoke you can see it is expecting one string parameter let me pass it as a kill here we go this is display function and a kill so this is single delegate if, if I subscribe multiple function to this delegate, it will be termed as multicast delegate. So, for subscribing a method, you can use my del plus equal to, let me give name as show employees. Let me click on this to generate method skeleton. CW tap tap, shorthand for console dot write line. This is show employees plus name. Similarly, I can have multiple methods like this. Just need to make sure that its signature is matching that of delegate. That is void and taking one parameter of type string. Add admitted employees, something like that and this is admitted employee this is show employees and this is display function and now let me subscribe this to my delegate plus equal to and the name of function so like so like here i'm using plus equal to for subscribing the function similarly you can use minus equal to to unsubscribe this function so if I invoke the function right now, it should be calling all these three functions. Let me run the application, control F5. You can see the output. 
it called all three functions this is display function show employees and admitted employee make a note that when you invoke multicast delegate it will be invoked in the same order you subscribed that to this delegate another way to invoke this function using multicast delegate is that by using get invocation list for each tab tab I, I know this delegate is of type my delegate and I'll use my delegate item in my del which is your this variable name dot get invocation list if I click on this and say F12 you can see it is returning delegate array so I can iterate this delegate and invoke the function independently item dot invoke and I need to pass one parameter Sakhlesh Mishra and let me run the application you can see output is saved so talking about the inbuilt delegate provided by .NET Framework so let me get rid of these codes so it gives you three types of inbuilt delegate action predicate and func action is a delegate which can have a reference to a function is of type void and predicate will have a reference to a function which is will return boolean type that is true or false let's implement it action my act equal to so display you can click on this or you can press alt shift f10 that is short key for creating the method skeleton and this is this is action display method and i can invoke this delegate in the same way dot invoke similarly in case of predicate you can see it is appearing in angular bracket anything that appears in angular bracket is termed as generics if you have not watched my generic video i will highly encourage you to do that i will include link for the generics in the description you can refer that let me specify the parameters let me pass it a string and my period equal to say compare check string null or not and you can click on this to create method skeleton you can, this is string parameter and here I can simply return string dot is null or empty and I will pass obj as parameter so if I invoke this function my period dot invoke it is expecting one string parameter let me pass it as okay so it will be printing as false because this value is not empty so let me print it using the console.write line let me run the application and in the output you can see this is action display method and for the predicate it has returned false talking about func the implementation of func is slightly different here you need to specify input and output parameter type input type and output type so this is again generic type you can see 17 overloads and the first input type you can have at most 16 such parameters as input type and one as output type so let me have two parameters of type integer and output as string and my fun equal to say calculate and let me click on this to create method skeleton and here I'll just return arg1 argument1 plus argument2 dot to string so while invoking the function in the main one my fun dot invoke it is expecting to integer parameter 12 comma 56 and it is returning string type so let me print that in console dot write line and let me give it run so in the output you can see this is action 
this is predicate and last one is func which is sum of 12 plus 56 which is 68 in upcoming videos i will be talking about what is event and what is difference between event and delegate thanks for watching this video have a nice day